<laughs> Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now... It begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There will be no more stories after this one. told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Oh, Wait for this playthrough? Me that's too! Not quite true. Some are old. Some are new. But they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Oh, up ahead. You see it too. The audio. You promised you can yes. The whispering, like it is real in audio. my ears. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the northmen call hell. Ooh, I have chills. Subtitles turned on after the They're watching. after this uh, section. Can you feel them watching? I thought I turned them on, but I guess it didn't save. My bad. They're watching her. Watching her. They brought people who deal with this to simulate exactly what they hear, and they recorded it. Can you feel it? That is amazing. What is she thinking? A perfect demonstration of schizophrenia? What? Wow. No. You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. Senua performed by Melina Jurgens. I don't know if I said her name correctly. Jurgens, Jurgens. 
That's so cool. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Jurgen, thank you. <laughs> Far deeper. Ooh. have chills. I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. Ooh. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness! Ooh, okay. What an interesting, like, opening to a game. Holy moly. Senua's voice acting and motion capturing were performed by German freelance photographer and video editor Melina Jurgens, who had not done either of those things prior to Hellblade. Wow. She was used by the team as a stand-in for Senua for several months while they perfected their motion capture, te motion capture techniques, and they eventually came to the conclusion that she could play the character in the finalized game. Wow, that is so cool, though. Wow. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Huh? Come on, closer. She can't focus. Why can't, can't she focus? focus? Take a closer look. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. I love his voice. Holy moly. Okay. That was very cryptic. Is there, so what do, do we have, um, so that's how we kind of like zoom in. We don't have any. I'm pressing all the buttons on my controller to see if I can do anything else. I can't do anything else right now. Ooh, it's so creepy. run from this but it, the game won't let you and that's like Not this time. that's like the unsettling part of it
what he said. The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. Who's head? Is that a head? She's carrying somebody's head? It looks like a very small head. <gasps> oh, shit. It's breathing. So he's there, you know it. There's no doubt about he's it. Lost. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. So is it Dillian's head that she, uh, whose head is she carrying? <sighs> oh my gosh. Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's oh, I found the, yeah. I found the run button. Could I run this whole time? Gosh dang it. <laughs> That's a weird button she for a sprint. She wants his soul to be at peace. She wants to lay him to rest. He's already dead. She can save him. There's nothing she the can do. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. Ooh. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. How do we get across here? The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Okay, a hidden path. Can't wait till she finds a map button. Listen, I was looking for it. I was looking for it earlier. I don't think you get a map button. Look, 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 look. Focus, interact, run. Open photo mode, fast track. Yeah, there's no map. There's no map in this game. There's no map in this game. I do have to say the the run button is a little awkward. I kind of want to change it. I want to make this one. I want to make that one the left trigger because I think that's a little bit more comfortable for me instead of the bumper. Yeah, OK. Real time pro gamer moves. Exactly. OK, so that we know that there's a hidden path. I'm assuming it's OK, it's back there, but I want to look over here really quick. You know me, I got to make sure that I'm not missing anything, right? Have we tried switching the Sarah mode off? Maybe that'll show. All right, let's see what this says. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Yep. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Oh, it sounds familiar, right? We've been to all, most of those places with Kratos. Get down. <laughs> What's she waiting for? I love the voices in her head. It's so trippy, man. Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. Okay, we got a the gate. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I'm never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Truth? Is that you? Truth? 
tales of the Northmen. They call me Drith. A liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> Drew is my truth. It's good to see you again. You kept your vow. I guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. You have to take a closer look to see. Why isn't she focusing? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Okay, so we have to find this rune somewhere else. Oh, wait. No, I see it. It's there. Like, do I have to, like, match it up with my vision or. Do I have to go find it somewhere else? I see it like in my vision, but I don't know if I'm supposed to like match it up or if I need to go find it somewhere else. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh! Oh! Look towards the gate. Ooh. Ooh, that's so The gate is open. Go through the gate. So cool. It. It's Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's wow. It worked. Oh my, that's so neat. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. <gasps> Whoa. The voices make an interesting touch to the game. The voice joins us. Yeah. Try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. Oh, there we go. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge. Pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near. <gasps> Waiting for you to make that. Oh! I messed up. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I have to be careful here. Okay, so I've learned the consequences of my actions. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. Oh, we gotta go bargain with Hela. Is 
this is our first our first uh boss the fight or something divides the living from the dead is that the face of Hela herself the half rotten goddess that rules over Helheim whatever horrors lie behind that door she must find him goodness oh shit Holy shit, what? She's dead. A vision of what's what? to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rock. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The 
dark rot will grow each time you fail. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. And all... What? All progress will be lost? Nobody told me that! The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. If I'd have known that, I would have put my gamer pants on. <laughs> Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt. Okay. The god of illusion, Van Raven. Okay. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods, two, two gates. gates. Which will she choose first? One of them will kill her, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to die. Uh oh. Which one will she challenge first? Be very careful, Senua. Choose a gate, Senua. The Northmen say that in the beginning, there was nothing. Ugh. Darkness. Bitter cold to the north. Fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice. And the first giant was born. And was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow yep. whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, chat. Which, where are we going first? All right, here we go. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Oh, hell no. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Okay, here we go. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The old father. Focus. Okay. Focus. Whoop! I got a little bit close. <laughs> hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. All right. So, we'll, oh, there's like a portal. Okay, we'll go over here. What's that? It's a door. Again and pretend what we saw was never really there. Then we never could close her eyes, however hard she tried. Packed. Can I just push this one open? 
All right, I'm just going to real quick. <laughs> okay, so we've got X is fast strike. Y is heavy strike. B is a melee attack. A is evade. And then I know that the block is the RB. I'm <laughs> just getting myself ready for combat because I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, fast strike, heavy strike, melee attack. This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Just get ready for a fight. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness. Ugh. Oh my god, look at that horse skull. It's huge. I can see you too. Time to fight, baby! You can do it! You're close! Oh, that's the melee attack, okay. So it's the kicking. Come on. Time to like actually do Oh, I did it. Okay. <laughs> the Northmen will not stop her. She will find what she's looking for. Okay. I I actually um I enjoy the combat style. It's actually uh it's nice. Um, it feels good. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> I love this game. The sequel looks so good. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited. I think the Game Awards got me really excited as well. So I was like, ooh, I think it's time to play this game. I'm enjoying it so far. Valraven's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Okay. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much has changed. I feel like that's it, but I can't figure out the right angle. Or maybe that's not it. Doesn't that feel like it should be it? That looks more like it. Oh, I bet you it's back here. Align the ravens with the mark of Can I get up there? How do I get the right angle here? Can I jump up here? Can I jump up here, maybe? Nope. Uh creepy. If I get too close to the door, then I can't see it. So I don't think that this is the right angle, but it looks how do I get up there? Can I jump? What the heck? That feels like the right angle. I need to be up where that guy is, but I don't know how to get the angle right. Maybe this is what I need to do. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm backtracking too far, but I swear it looked like there was like a little walkway up there. It's like I'm backtracking too much. Do I need to like, okay, there we go. So when the shape is on the screen, that means that the sh I can 
see this, but... Is that, like, supposed to be distracting me and it's not actually the shape? No, I'm, like, pretty sure I should be able to get up here, but I, for some reason it won't let me jump up here. Oh, that druid guy is gone. That thing that was up there is gone. What the heck is going on? Yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a, a tip. We'll get there, chat. We'll get there. And I also didn't don't remember there wasn't really a place to go on the other side when you were back where the first door was. So I uh, don't know what I'm doing wrong. First puzzle chat and Sarah's already stumped. Are we surprised? Wait. Why is this? I can't use my weapon to hit anything right now either. I feel helpless. <laughs> Help me. Go back. There was a small entrance before you go into that area. See the bit of exposed wall where you go through the shining spot? <gasps> I didn't realize that this was a portal. Oh my God. I was like, why is this shining? It's shining for a reason. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. It's so subtle. What the heck? Oh. That's so trippy. Thank you, chat. There it is. Yeah, it was like so subtle. I didn't even realize that that wall opened up holy moly you know it's funny because i was sitting there and i'm like why is this shiny it's shiny for a reason and i don't know why and i didn't even think to like when i was standing here looking at this i was so focused i was so focused on the wow that is so cool that is just i was so focused on looking at the deer head and like this whole area that i was like oh i don't even notice that when you go like this it's wow that is so neat. That's so freaking cool. This part has many portals like that. Yeah, now I know. Now I can kind of keep an eye out for it. Oh, so cool. Crossing into another world that looks the same, but feels different. An imposter world. Where the forest itself is watching. Wow. I, this game is very good. Now that we figured out the portals. Another game. Another game. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen, don't. Open it. You can do it. Don't touch it. Step back. Come on. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Okay, so we have the portal down there. So I'm assuming we have to get up on that platform which will be possible once we walk through here. Ooh, that's so trippy. <gasps> Challenge me! <laughs> So that's who is waiting for us. Where is he? It's not your fault. Listen, focus, focus, focus. Oh, I wanted to fight him. <laughs> this is so trippy. Ooh, there he is. I see you, boy. Fight me. Ooh. Anything else over here? It wouldn't be the first time. Last winter, before the tragedy, she journeyed into the wilds of her native land. 
Living off berries. Oh, he's pointing. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gelt. A gelt? Some like truth become gelt in search of penance. Others, like Senua. The Bajagas. Those who make it back are forever Short changed. Oh, we can open this one too. Oh, it looks like there's one, uh, something up there. I need to go back up. Oh, there he is, okay. Oh, there's a ladder. <gasps> she can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. How can she get up? Must be magic. Dark magic. A trick. It's how my, my thoughts are causing putting doubt into my own it's mind it's like oh him it's a trick she's doing it on her own he's not tricking her it's magic it's an illusion senua is a gamer okay there's stairs perfect there we go it does get trippy the more you play i i'm here for it i think it's very very interesting okay there we go there we go we did it shh, shh, shh. If you hear the song of Van Raven, follow it, and it will lead you to him. But be aware of his illusions. You can't always trust your eyes. Drew channeling his inner Obi-Wan. Ooh. We picture fear, and we think of a shadow in the woods. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, like a mammoth or an elephant person. skull. The worst kind comes without bearing. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Kill the other one? Okay, End I killed it. it. No, this is nearly the end. Woo! I was not expecting the other one to show up. <laughs> the Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky. With his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. I love all of the like Norse mythology, like stories and everything. It's always so interesting. I think we're, some of you guys were talking about it earlier. Uh, there's a really good book. Um, I read it in between God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok called um, Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. 
it's so good. I've talked about it before on the channel, but it is such a good book and it has such a great take on some of the stories. He does such a great job of writing those stories out so well and I highly recommend it. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds. Of course. Never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. What? I think we just need to try to get to the door. Oh my god, there's portals everywhere. Holy crap. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god.